Hi everyone! Today is a very hot day over here, so I decided to run a small experiment. When I was a kid, we had cassettes like these, and they had a claim on the back that said they could withstand extreme temperatures, especially in car stereos. They mentioned 85 degrees Celsius or 185 Fahrenheit. So I decided to put some cassettes to the test. I remember when I was a kid I left a Philips cassette on the dashboard of my parents' car and it got totally warped. I went into my stash and found um, all these. This is an Acme Type Zero cassette, nothing to write home about. They're not good and so uh, I don't mind it being destroyed. Uh, this is a worn out Maxell UDXL1, excellent cassette when it's good, but this one has been totally worn out in car stereos and these were given to me. This Philips cassette has the tape that snapped off, so um, nothing to uh, say here. Once again, I'm not destroying anything of value. And uh, the last cassette I'm gonna use is one exactly like this. I appear to have one which is sticky, so not destroying anything of value and uh, doing it for science. I'm gonna whack them under this uh, glass dome to simulate um, a car windshield, a black piece of paper to simulate the dashboard, and with temperatures reaching 80 degrees, we're gonna see what we're gonna get. Two hours later. Okay, so it's time to look at the cassettes. Uh, okay, the Type Zero Acme, well, it has warped. Um, Pretty much badly, you see, it's um, all warped. The cassette was not usable uh, anyway. And look at the side, it's all warped, but that was to be expected. The Maxell cassette, well, um, I'm kind of surprised of this. Um, the shell felt pretty much sturdy and uh, the heat literally did some damage. Oh, look at that. The Philips cassette is the most surprising of all. Look at that. Well, this looks like a piece of heart or something like this. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, the Philips cassette that got warped was not warped as this, but man, look at that. That, it looks like it's been in an oven and it was just left under some glass dome and under the sun. And last but not least, the BASF. It looks like it has no damage, but it's slightly warped. On the side you can see it's a banana shaped, and on the tape pass it's been warped. So, BASF made claims that their cassette would withstand such high temperatures, and it's the one that fared the best, uh, compared to the others, the Maxell, the Type Zero, and the Philips. Dang! That is some gnarly looking cassette now. I mean, it could be put on a display as an art piece, or maybe I'm gonna sell it on eBay as a piece of art. Well, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do this. But I may frame it because, well, this is something... I was not expecting that result. I, I knew something bad would happen, but I was not expecting it to be like this. But look, I mean, that's crazy. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. As always, I thank you for watching and uh, please, uh, don't forget that uh, leaving a cassette under the dashboard of your car ain't a good idea. Thanks to you for watching and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.